Amisigo is one of the first crypto assets that I have ever bought and in today's video I'll focus on where the price is today. Are we already in a downtrend in May 2021 or are we are still bullish? I'll give you a realistic price prediction so stay with me. Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov, welcome to the trading channel. I'll be super happy to have you as a subscriber, so make sure to do it and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. In today's video, I'll be focusing on a miss -a go one of the coins that I have been trading since uh, mid-2020. I have actually recorded live trading with it in my cryptocurrency investment strategy course, which you will find in the description below. However, since this time, the Mystic Gold did some amazing moves and it was kind of the ideal asset for trading and exactly for my trading system that I explained in the course. Now, in my videos, I want to give pros and cons for the assets and one of the cons that I encountered was that the transactions when I was sending a missing go from one wallet to another was super slow at that time. I hope they have improved that but make sure to do your own research about the technology that stands behind a missing go. In today's video I want to focus on the chart itself and I want to give you a realistic price prediction that I'm chasing at the moment and what are the levels where I'm comfortable buying it again. So if we look at the big picture, I'm on a daily chart and I'll just focus on the last few months. Are we in a downtrend already or we are still in an uptrend? I'll give you a second to think about it. I'll be happy to hear your answer in the comments below. And of course, I will share with you how I see it. So uptrend is defined by series of higher highs and series of higher lows, right? So we had one more higher high, which was a record high. And if I have to be precise, the highest point according to Bitfinex was $15.35. And just before that, we had a higher low than this one. And then boom, Elon Musk speculated on Bitcoin and everyone followed, people panicked and the missing goal went down below the $4, okay? So we had this lower low than that one. So once again, are we in an uptrend or we are in a downtrend already? One more time, the definition of an uptrend is series of high highs and higher lows, which means that we would be in a downtrend when we have series of lower lows and lower highs. And we already have a lower low than that one, but we don't have a lower high okay so until the moment we have a lower high somewhere here so if the price does something like that and then it continues lower I'll agree that we are in a downtrend okay but until we see that we are still in an uptrend Personally, this is how I see it. I might be wrong. We'll be happy to see what you think in the comments one more time. Now, since we are still in an uptrend, I'm looking for buying opportunities. And I usually do that on the lower time frames, such as the hourly chart. I will remove those for the moment and I will show you the simple setup that I had the last weeks. I had a trend line going through this high over here and you see that the price broke but I didn't buy. Why? Because on hourly chart you see that I had a lower low than that one. Okay, so if I'm using the break of the trend line, I want to see the price forming a higher low. So I wanted to see something like that before breaking the trend line. I wanted to see a higher low than the previous one, which would form a new uptrend on the hourly chart, just like what we had over here. Okay, if I zoom it, you will see that we had series of higher highs and higher lows okay this high was conquered by this one and then we had another higher high and then we had a higher low than this one and then we had another higher low but the price didn't reach the trend line 
or in this case it is a counter trend line right and it dropped lower so I usually look for a higher low or in trading we call it a failure of the recent low okay so if I bring back the chart until this moment we say that this low is a failure of this low which shows that the buyers at this moment are stronger compared to the buyers at that moment right and I want to see that as a first sign before purchasing the coin then the price dropped and it formed a lower low than that one and it is lower than that one and then the price continued higher and it broke impulsively but one more time I didn't buy because I didn't have the confirmation from a failure of a recent low however the price now went a little bit lower retested this line again but what actually I can do is to move the trend line right over here so I can look for the new buying opportunity and if I zoom it again the price forms series of lower lows and lower highs which is the definition one more time for a downtrend so if the price now breaks no I'm not buying it if it does something like that today in the next hours or in the next days I'm not buying it if the price forms a higher low then that's another story for me simply said this is my system okay and if you are investing and if you are trading for the first time don't jump just because you saw something on the news just because you saw something in the community you should have a precise or strict system that you follow and you should confirm at least with two three signals so for me I'm looking for the higher low I'm looking for a break of a counter trend line and at the same time I'm looking for important support and resistance levels and in this case we have a nice support right at 555 okay you see that the price stopped on the 23rd of April after that it was a resistance now it stopped again at 555 so if you don't want to hold losses what you can do is when you buy if the price goes against you for example if the price does something like that or let's say it will have my confirmations okay let's say the price does a higher low and then it breaks I would be buying it right and if the price continues lower after that keep in mind that there is always such a possibility I usually handle the loss and I'm looking for new lower buying opportunities I will buy again and I will average my price but not everyone wants to handle losses they prefer to close on a small loss and if you follow such a setup you would want to close the trade below the 550 so you won't handle the losses because if the price drops more and especially if it drops below the 340 I expect a further decline down to the levels of uh, let me go to the daily chart so I can tell you what is the next support line this is the line over here okay this is where the price stopped a few times as a support then this line was a resistance then recently was a support again if I have to be precise it will be a little bit lower down here at 290 or three dollars so definitely if the price drops below the 550 I'll be looking for this support level at 290 all right so this is for the people who don't want to handle losses one more time what I prefer to do if I was wrong the first time I'll be buying it cheaper so I'll have a better average price and for the beginners this means that if I buy 100 coins let's say at six dollars and then the price drops and I buy another 100 coins at four dollars my average price will be at five dollars right so after that if the price goes higher I will have more profits compared to if I have bought all the 200 coins at the six dollars 
this is the average price and I always average my positions whenever the price goes on loss and you can see that on my crypto portfolio spreadsheet. So here I track all the current assets I'm holding. Okay, you can see Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash and all the rest below. I track how many coins I have at the moment, how many times I have bought it. So usually if you see two times, it means that I have averaged the price. And at the end of the day, I have the growth, which is the most important. And I have the total cost or all the investments that I have at the moment. What's the market value? How much I'm on a profit? But one more time, this is only for the current coins that I'm holding. And if you want to check all the assets that I have bought or I have sold, you can check out my Patreon's page where I give crypto buy alerts and crypto sell alerts. Recently, a very nice sell alert actually from Ethereum. I have sold it at 4,129, which was a fantastic price. At that moment, after that, Elon Musk helped the market to drop down to $2,000 for the Ethereum and $30,000 for the Bitcoin. However, a missile goal did not drop below 387.69 to be precise and this is according to Bitfenix. Okay guys, so this is the setup I have at the moment. I'll be happy buying it if I have a failure of the recent low plus a break of the trend line plus a support below the levels. And one more time, if the coin drops below, I'll be happy buying it obviously it won't drop below the zero okay that i can tell you with a certainty so seriously now going to the targets what are the potential targets i'll be happy selling it if i buy what is the target where i'll be happy buying it so i'll be taking the first move from the new uptrend here it is and I will take a Fibonacci retracement. I will draw it from the top to the bottom of the first positive move, right? Now you see that I have two targets. One as at 161.8 and 261.8. So these levels are calculated based on the move we already have. After the price reaches the second target, and you see that it worked really nice over here, I'm taking another Fibonacci, taking the top and drawing it to the lowest retracement, which is right at that moment. So stay with me here, it's nothing complicated. And now I have a new target at the first one as at 11.36, which was reached perfectly right over here and then the second one is at 1680 which was not reached and then we have two more targets on the top sitting at 22 25 and 25 61 70 so it's up to you which one you want to use i usually prefer to use the first and the second target from fibonacci because when i'm trading i want to take profits quicker so I don't want all the assets in my portfolio to be stuck in time so if you look one more time in the portfolio spreadsheet which you can download from my patreon's page I have some long-term investments which probably are whole for years I have others that are staking and I have others that are short time so I'm talking about the short-term investment here which usually takes a few weeks or months and for such purposes I'm using the first and the second target of Fibonacci. If you are looking for a longer term investment and you want to chase further targets then at the current moment a miss ago third and fourth targets based on Fibonacci sit at $22.25 and $25.61. So first target for me is definitely $16.80. I'll be happy selling some of the coins one more time if I buy them, if I have the setup in the next hours or days. And then the last target sits at $25, which I personally think is super possible to happen even by the end of 2021 of course if elon musk is on our side i'm joking thank you guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed the video thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future videos for price predictions and i will see you guys in another video take care and enjoy trading cheers